Hornbill Corellus, Cacatua tenurostris, are one of six species of Corellus found in the world. Although looking garrulous and perhaps a little bit unfriendly, this is actually a breeding pair of long-billed Corellus. The female is on the left and the male is on the right. And you can see the feigned attempts at regurgitating food and then them both participating in some preening together. Long-billed Corellus are found mainly in eucalypt forests in Western Victoria and appear to have suffered greatly from the historical aridification of Australia which favoured the smaller little Corella and also the spread of agriculture which cleared old growth gum trees which are the favoured nesting site of these birds. By the mid 20th century there were strong concerns for the future of this species but they've recovered well aided by adapting to semi-urban environments and by the spread of feral populations. This has allowed them to increase their range up the eastern coast of Australia. These birds here were filmed on the Darling Downs in Queensland. Longbill Corellas breed from late winter to spring, breaking into small family groups for nesting. Both males and females incubate the eggs for just over three weeks, and the chicks spend about seven weeks in the nest after hatching. The chicks are still fed for a number of weeks after fledging. At the nesting hollow you can see what appears to be the male widening the entrance to the hollow. And he's soon joined by the female. When not breeding, long-billed corellas can form flocks of a few hundred birds, sometimes causing damage to crops. Their long upper mandible allows them to easily dig up roots for eating, and sometimes they are joined by little corellas for feeding, as can be seen here. Three species of Corellas are found in Australia and two have an elongated mandible. This species, the long-billed Corella, has the longest upper mandible and the western Corella has a slightly smaller upper mandible but is a larger bird. There are no subspecies of long-billed Corellas.